Hi everyone, welcome to the fifth video in this MS project series. So in this segment of the series, we are going to discuss how to generate reports and filters in MS project. So we already have made a project here. We've already created the Gantt chart. We've already assigned resources. We've already made some changes in the tasks whenever when it was executed. And it's now time to see some things like a report or maybe a filter that can help us analyze the project. So the first thing that we are going to discuss is the use of filter. So in your Gantt chart, regular Gantt chart, you can go to view and under view, you should see you have this data group. And this one allows us to provide some highlight or filter to your data. So for example, we have the filter drop down here and you can choose several filters. Like for example, you want to filter those that are late and MS Project will then hide the tasks that are, well, not late. Those tasks that are still on time. You can also view those that are active. Though that means everything except the inactivated tasks. You could also filter based on what is already completed. We could also filter based on which are considered critical or those that are important for the project not to be delayed. So that's what the filter is used for. Now another option is not filter but just to highlight. It's almost the same as filter except that it doesn't hide those that doesn't satisfy the condition that you are highlighting. So for example, I want to highlight the critical tasks. So filter would just show it to you and remove all the non-critical tasks but highlight will just highlight them so instead of hiding those that are not critical you will get this yellow bar highlighting those tasks same with the others so you have late tasks you can highlight them if you want so that you can still see a field view of all the projects without filtering those that are not part of that filter so that's one way to sort of analyze or preview your task now of course another way is to generate a report and this is especially useful if for example you want to generate reports financial reports okay, of your project so there's a tab dedicated for that and that is the report tab under the report tab it's actually pretty straightforward you have different ways to present your report so there's a report that are about resources, there's a report about costs, there's a report about progress, and others. So let's go through some of the notable reports in the Reports tab of MS Project. So the first one is all about resources. So all you have to do to generate the report is drop down whatever category of report you want. And then let's say for this one, I want to see resource overview. And this sort of like shows you the resource people and how much work have they done. So we have here John, Jane, Peter, and Sheila. So Peter seems to be the one who has the most number of tasks to do here or the most number of hours dedicated for this task, while Jane has the lowest. The blue bar pertains to how much work has already been done, while the orange bar pertains to how much work that person is still has not yet done. Maybe he hasn't completed it yet, or maybe it's not yet his or her time to do that, those tasks. On the other table here, we have the percentage of work completed pertaining to how much work they already have done based on how much they are assigned so as you could see it's almost the same with what we have here so john followed by jane with a bit lower and then we have peter which goes way up compared to everyone and then sheila is sort of like the second 
uh, level or second placer when it comes to the number of amount completed or number of work percentage of work completed and then we have here a breakdown sort of like a table like report rather than a tabular report or a chart report so that's one kind of report we can also have reports pertaining to costs so let's say that we have your cash flow and you will notice that we have a very simple report here we're in what we have here is how much is the baseline cost this was the plan that we had if you remember in our previous video we set a baseline so this is how much the project would cost and this is how much we have consumed okay out of that uh, baseline and then we have a calculation of how much is still remaining for that project and if ever that your actual cost becomes higher than your baseline cost then that's where or that's when the cost uh, cost variance will start showing up a number so the variance here pertains to how far your actual cost is from the baseline and then we have a very simple bar chart here and then we have a simple table wherein we have an overview of the project that we have and the same details as what we have here in the overview part now the lower table can actually be further modified you can click on the table itself and you will have this interface on the right side that allows you to show or hide costs or columns in your report so let's say you're not interested in showing the other details so you can simply uncheck them from this right side panel and another one is if you notice the report is not that detailed right it only shows you the overview cost but what if i want to also see the cost per phase of the project so for that you have to click on the table and here on the right side pane you should see there's an outline level which is currently set at level one so that is the reason why we're only seeing the level one or the project level of the uh, costs with a cost report so if i drop this down and change this to level two you will see that we now have broken down that table into the two levels or the two phases that we have and that is the initial phase and the construction phase if you want more details then we can switch to level three and you have now the costs per task if you have more levels to your task then you can uh, check that we also have the option to show hierarchy which allows you to break down the task from the main task level one task to the secondary level down to the details so looks like this one is a better looking report right now other reports we have the in progress report which is more of like a list of tasks that are late for example so like late tasks so now you have here what tasks are considered late what's the start and finish date supposedly what's the percentage completed how much work still remains and who are the resources you have this pie chart here showing how much of the tasks are late how much are on schedule and how much are still not yet done the future tasks so those are the different kinds of reports that you can generate in ms project well there's actually more if you go to reports let's say you want to send or create a report and use excel okay to process the data so that would be in this button so you have visual reports so this allows you to export reports from ms project to excel or visio depending on the type of report that you are going to use so let's say that i want a report that is related to the resources that i have so the only report right now available is 
resource remaining work report. If you want, you can also check resource usage. Maybe that's where you will see what you're looking for. So let's say I want this one, resource cost summary report. And then all you have to do is double click that report. It will start generating data. And open the report in Excel. So now you have Excel at your fingertips to modify the report. It comes with a chart, a pivot chart, and it comes with a pivot table as well in classic view. Um, honestly, there's not much of updates here. Even if MS Project has been updated in the past few years, there's very little changes when it comes to the update to the point that it still uses the old version of pivot tables, but it does the job. Okay, you have the breakdown of different costs and how much they cost and there's a chart presentation of that. So based on this, it seems that work consumed most of the resources while we haven't consumed the materials and costs yet. So these are the reports that you can do in MS Project. And that's it for this video. I hope to see you in another one and please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and thank you everyone. Keep safe.